In the winter, you can find Chris Rubens here. He's been a professional free skier for over a decade. But in the summer, he trades in his skis and poles for seeds and plows. We're like a market garden, so we grow mixed vegetables. How did he go from snow lines to snow peas? How did the idea of a farm come up? It's a climate change thing. Okay. Us. Trying to lower your carbon footprint and then figuring out things that you can do in the world. And for us, it's we thought it was like organic local farming. But starting a farm here was no easy task. It's a harsh environment. Tucked between two mountain ranges and sitting 480 meters above sea level means frigid winters and lots of precipitation. There's only about 153 hectares of suitable farming land so you need to be very lucky and resilient to grow anything, not to mention the unpredictability of climate change. What I really see is, is big spikes. So like last spring, we had a really cold spring, uh, which was really hard on farming. The previous spring, we had a heat dump. Crops are like most things, they like balance, and we're getting less of that. And that's why Revelstoke's 2014 food security strategies show that less than 10% of the town's food comes from within 250 kilometers, an issue that came into sharp focus as the world began to close down in 2020. And with Chris's ski career put on pause, he and his partner Jess were face to face with a major food security issue in their beloved town. And so, First Light Farm was born. But they weren't just focused on their own food security. It's an initiative we started during our first year and it was just crowd fundraising money for the food bank and, and kind of the principle behind it was raising all this money and then we would take that amount of money and, and give the equivalent value to the food bank and the idea is to that the vulnerable of our community eat the healthy food. In their first year they raised about four thousand dollars worth of food for the local food bank. Four years later that number has grown to about twenty one thousand dollars worth of food. The real treat I think is seeing the look on, on these people's faces when they're seeing this beautiful veg being laid out for them. After a day at the farm, Chris and Jess set up their tent at the local farmer's oh, market. And as their first customer arrives, you could see the smiles grow on their faces. What started off as a project to reduce their own carbon footprints has turned into so much more. 